June is an excellent time of year, no matter where you're located in the continental United States, to be thinking about soil building and amending your soil with whole ingredient fertilizers. I don't even like using that term. So I want to share with you some of the ones that were available at the local hardware store and how I determine which ones I'm going to apply and what kind of a situation. Now, I should note before I jump into these, if you are near the water edge, if you're in a coastal city, uh, or if you're in a subtropical climate, we do need to be careful this time of year adding too much nitrogen to our soils. So June is really our last window for those of us in Florida and Southern California to be adding in those nitrogen-based uh, amendments because we don't wanna cause algae blooms. So basically what that means for those of us in Florida and Southern California, we're gonna be mostly doing our fertilizing and soil amending at the beginning of June as opposed to the end. Now you can actually do compost or manure type fertilizers and soil amendments pretty much any time because those aren't gonna be leaching into the soil, but all of our bone meal, blood meal, feather meal, that sort of thing, we're gonna do the first week or two of June and then nothing until September. So when I went into the hardware store today, this was the brand that they had or the two brands that they had. Now I'm not getting a dime from these guys. This is just what they had at the store. And I wanna show you kind of what I'm looking at when I'm getting a fertilizer or a soil amendment and when I need to apply these. So let's talk about blood meal first. So blood meal first is gonna be a lot of nitrogen. So if we turn this over uh, and look at the back here, we've got our analysis is 1200. So this is our nitrogen. This is our phosphorus, and the last one is our potassium. So think about those three numbers as beginning of season, middle of season, end of season, or green growth, the flower, and the fruit set. So what that means is as a general rule, when you see the first number, second number, third number, you're thinking beginning, middle, or end of season. So what does that look like problem solving? So if you have really yellowed leaves, that's gonna be the first number. If you're not getting flowers, that's gonna be a second number. If you're getting good green growth, good flowers, and no fruit set, that's gonna be the third number in that system. So looking back at these three selections here, because this is mostly nitrogen based in USDA zones three through eight, this is gonna be kind of Mother's Day through Memorial Day is when I'm really gonna be hitting this one hard, both in the garden and in the food forest. Now in the warmer climates, you know, I'm not really doing any annual vegetable gardening. So for me, I'm not using a lot of blood meal right now, unless it involves tropical spinaches, things that are just green growth based. Now bone meal is going to be a little bit different. So this one does have a little bit of nitrogen, but it's mostly going to be that middle number. So this is going to be great for things that are flowering, beginning to have fruit set. Um, so things like avocados that are just now getting their fruit set or my perennial flowers. This is going to be a really good one right now. So for me in central Florida, bone meal is my beginning and second week of June application of choice. Now this type of a mix here is going to be a little bit a uh, little bit easier. It's a 253, but instead of it having just one ingredient, this one has bone meal, some poultry manure, and also some potash. So these are really clean, very very easy ingredients. So this technically could be applied to pretty much anything that needs a little bit of nitrogen and that little tiny bit um, of the other numbers as well. Um, so this is a good all purpose. So don't just be thinking vegetable and tomato. Now again, in general, March, June, and September, if you're in USDA zones nine through 11 is when we're gonna be fertilizing. If you are in USDA zones three through eight, it's probably gonna be like April, June, and then late July, early August is when you're gonna be doing most of your fertilizing. But remember, you can do foliar sprays anytime during the growing season. Things like sea kelp, fish emulsion, uh, any of the neem oils, basic age, your probiotics. I do probiotics every couple weeks here. Um, so you can be doing things pretty much any time during the growing season. But again, if you're in those warmer climates that's by water, we don't wanna be doing a lot after the last part of June. So whether you are fertilizing those fruit trees, the berry bushes, uh, tropical spinaches, whatever, uh, make sure that you're using the right fertilizer in the right place. Also, say hi to the peacock back there. His name is Fox. Well, I mean, that's what I've named him anyway. So I hope you're having a great June and that this was helpful to you. As always, have fun and I will see you in the garden.